Good morning, everybody. We're on our way to Myeongdong again. It's uh, noon <laughs> because we slept in. And uh, well, we tried. Well, I tried. Yeah, she tried. I can't sleep anyway. No. So, yeah, it's a sunny day today. And yeah, let's try Myeongdong again. <laughs> yeah. My friend just tried um, withdrawing money at another ATM but after putting in her code it said that it doesn't work so it's really difficult to withdraw money here in Korea at least without fees because at least 7-Eleven there's a fee you have to pay There was a fee as well Yeah and there was a fee as well but it just didn't work We're still looking for the cathedral. <laughs> um, so we were just uh, at the uh, bank, KEB. I'm not really sure what that means, but it's uh, KE and B. And she tried to withdraw money. So um, she, when you withdraw money, you have to pay a fee. And this was like 3,000, 4,000, 4,000 won. So it, you have to pay a more expensive fee if you uh, withdraw more money and um, you usually have to like um, tell the machine how many how many bills you want of for example of a 4000 won or 5000 won bill so yeah you have to pay a fee everywhere here in Korea so you oh, and uh, not the 7-Eleven in Japan has always ATMs, but here I went into what three, four, and just one had the one from yesterday had one. Yeah, right. Every ATM, uh, every 7-Eleven in Japan has an ATM, and it's really easy to get money. I, I usually don't see that they have a fee on it, but uh, you have to check with your bank at your home country yeah. whether they um, have a fee for you because if you like I'm, I'm not even sure now because I usually they don't say it in Japan like if I get this receipt it doesn't say that they um, withdraw some fee from me but I don't know what it's like with my bank back at home so yeah. you have to check that so we're in a cafe and I got bubble tea because I'm craving bubble tea and I got some juice from something yeah, some I don't know what it is I don't even know what that is but uh, yeah we just uh, yeah we just uh, want to rest it's a more relaxing trip we're not like um, climbing mountains like in Kyoto or something like that it's uh, like more shopping kind of trip thingy yeah, yeah. and um, yeah we're just drinking this uh, now and so we don't uh, have uh, Wi-Fi here in Korea but uh, usually restaurants or cafes like this have uh, Wi-Fi and uh, yeah I'm connected so you can get into Wi-Fi at restaurants and cafes <laughs> Yeah, you 
I like taro. It's like a, something they can put potato in. It sounds gross, but um, I really like taro. We use that in the many Vietnamese dessert too. And I really like tapioca. I like the consistency. That's why I love Vietnamese dessert because they use those in almost every dessert. Coconut and some taro ladle thingy. They have so many makeup stores and brands and uh, so many different products I wouldn't have even thought of that you need those like hair contouring pencils and uh, stuff I don't even know about so we don't even really know what uh, we're buying and uh, we don't even have the ability to compare prices or compare products. There are hand creams. Do you want one? <laughs> want a look? Hand cream. Das ist ein Spiegel sonst. Das ist ein Spiegel wieder. Das war jetzt mal. Äh, das enger. Naja, Kerle haben ja auch eigentlich keine Hüfte. Ja. Oh Gott, da bin ich mir ja schon. Ist sehr durchsichtig, ne? Ja. Aber vom Style her sieht's gut aus. Vom Style her sieht es gut aus. Das ist halt wirklich durchsichtig. I got something from H&M because um, everywhere you go, H&M is still the cheapest store, I think. And um, I got the black, the black shirt. I like the white shirt too, but it was uh, way too expensive, and uh, I didn't want to spend uh, uh, 35,000 won on that piece of clothes. So I just got the black one because it was a sale and it only was like 9,000 won which is about 9 euro. So yeah, always uh, looking for sales. Crown at the station because my friend needs to go to the toilet and um, it seems that uh, you can you can shop under Crown too but I don't know about the uh, prices so maybe we'll we're going to have a look around here too. Korean chicken to eat uh, lunch now or dinner? Is it, is it dinner time already? Uh, let me have a look. I mean, the sun is still up. Oh, it's uh, after lunch. Okay, it's, it's after lunch. Yeah. After lunch. Uh, it's dinner. Dinner time. No, dinner. Dinner? Lunch okay. and dinner. Okay, dinner. okay, dinner time. <laughs> We're in a restaurant that uh, looks like a little bit like McDonald's or Burger King but uh, we really want to try a Korean fried chicken because uh, you know Korean fried chicken seems to be like really delicious and popular so we decided to get this for dinner today dinner 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 Guck mal, was da vorne ist. 
Um, so we were sitting here at the table for two and we went to order so we put our bags on the chair we were sitting on but then the uh, shop assistant came and uh, got us an extra chair to uh, put our bags on and I've never seen that before like in Japan you, or in Germany you don't do that you don't do that in Germany either you like uh, get a table with more chairs and then be an asshole and <laughs> put your bags on there so that nobody can sit anymore or you just keep it like under the, your table but you usually don't get another chair from another table for your bags right you don't do that oh. it's really interesting to like observe all the cultural differences here so interesting we both got our food korean fried chicken it's a uh, chicken breast and uh, ka kajun? Kajun? Price or something like that. She got a blueberry drink. I didn't get any drink because I'm cheap and I still have um, my own drink from Japan, my peach water. So this was, uh, uh, I think this chicken was about uh, 8 euro. It's 1200. Yeah, 8,200 won, so about... Uh, 8,500, sorry. Okay, 8,500 uh, won, so about uh, 8 euro, I would say. Yeah. So, we're just going to eat now. Maybe checking back um, a little bit. Just saw we got three different kind of uh, sauces like uh, tomato ketchup then mom's um, honey mustard you see some kind of mustard of this uh, restaurant and then a uh, sweet sauce i don't get these uh, many sauces in germany at mcdonald's also got a fork for the chicken i'd like to try this uh, fried seems that it's uh, seasoned It tastes like these uh, mm. potato wedges. Yeah, potato wedges. It's not like these um, normal, fries. normal fries from McDonald's. It tastes like potato wedges. Mustard. I like the mustard. Ketchup. No more ketchup. And sweet sauce. The sweet sauce tastes like um, what you would get for a Chinese dinner yeah. in a Chinese Chinese restaurant. Yeah. Takeaway. Yeah, tastes exactly like a fried vegetables with that kind of sauce. As you can hear, um, right next to us at the window, there are people building things, so it's a little bit, sometimes it's a little bit louder. I'm just going to try these chicken. It's really crunchy. I think that KFC chicken is softer. And saltier. And saltier. They didn't season 
the chicken. I think there were some options where you could like uh, order seasoned chicken or some more spice. But yeah, we didn't do it. It's just normal chicken breast um, fried. But uh, we got our sauce. But the outside is really crunchy, which I like. It's one of this uh, blueberry drink my friend got. And it tastes like vegan blueberry gummy bears. It tastes like that. Um, we had a blueberry bubble tea before in Düsseldorf at the teammate. teammate. Yeah. And it uh, tasted a little bit, bit more natural, like blueberry natural. <laughs> this just tastes like a vegan gummy bears. I noticed, like we noticed, that the prices, like food for food here, are a little bit more cheaper than in Japan. Like, for example, the burgers. I pay for a burger at Freshness Burger like 300 yen. I think almost 400 yen. And here, how much was it? What? How much were we are the burgers? Around 3,000. Yeah, around 3,000, like 3 euro. Yeah. And the taxes are included. included already because in Japan, if you see like, for example, if you go to a 100 yen store or a 100 yen community like I have uh, next to my dorm, they are like, all the articles are like marked as uh, 100 yen, but then when you go pay, it's 108 yen, and sometimes I forget that, and I'm I'm, I'm surprised why it's uh, more expensive. Just it's just because on the price tag, the taxes are usually not included yet, but in Korea they are. So if you see the price, you don't even have to think about whether the taxes are included or not because they are, and you just pay the price on the price tag. I feel myself getting full and you really need all the sauces. I thought that I, I thought I would skip one sauce, but you really need all the sauces. And you get a lot, like quite a lot for like eight dollars, eight euro. I just made um, the mistake of uh, going into a store again. I hate myself sometimes. And um, yeah, I think because, well, we had this thought that uh, the shop assistant have to count their clients. They manage to, uh, like, they manage to sell them something. So probably it's something like that because um, that's why they follow you around. But we're not sure about that. However, yeah, she managed to sell me things and uh, I bought several things with a tax discount. Like if you have your passport with you, you get a tax refund and then you get a, a deal and then you get some free stuff. So. They make a lot of deals here to get you to buy something. So we're going into a Korean Daiso. Um, 100 won? No, it would be a thousand won store, I think. We just went to Daiso to get some snacks. Um, not everything is 1000 won. There were also things uh, for. 2,000 and uh, 3,000, yeah, and more. It depends on what you're buying. If uh, it's like small size packages, 
and such, then it's uh, 1,000 yen. Uh, one. one. <laughs> I'm so confused. I'm so confused because of these <laughs> exchange rates. Oh, seriously. You know what? Um, you know that we've been looking for the uh, cathedral since this morning, <laughs> and it's almost dark already. We know that the cathedral is somewhere here, but we can't find it, and we don't see it, and we always get uh, distracted by the stars. And yeah, it got dark already. We're in a cafe for shaved ice. This is just our alarm. When it's ready, it will peep. Yeah, it's because we just wanted to try it once. We haven't even we haven't eaten shaved ice uh, in Japan. I want to because of the memories of a geisha. Oh, okay. So maybe we have to look for that in uh, Japan too. But since we're in Korea, we are trying it here now. And, uh, yeah, I, I, I got, I spent a lot of money today again. I shouldn't go into these shops because usually I only want to look what they have or buy one thing, and then they come and like show me things and. There are really, like, there's a lot of interesting stuff here. Things that I didn't even know existed or that I need. It's really interesting, I must say. Um, um, our Bingsu shaved ice cream arrived. We got the chocolate brownie one. Looks good. We hope it's a chocolate brownie one. She looked like we would speak, I don't know. Yeah, sometimes the people look like they don't understand us, but uh, as you know, we don't speak Korean. So we kind of try to get around with English and Japanese. But it looks good. This will be perfect for summer. Mm -hmm. The shaved ice looks like coconut, but it tastes like nothing. This ice. So yeah, you have to eat it with the chocolate stuff here. As you can see, the ice is really fluffy, like coconut flakes almost. And it tastes really light. Well, it's water, so... <laughs> But um, if you mix it like at the ground of the bowl, there's also condensed milk, like sweetened condensed milk, and uh, with the chocolate, it, it's really nice. Mm, because it's water and not like a, you know, creamy ice cream. Like Italian ice cream, it feels a lot more lighter, and uh, a, you also have the uh, cream and together, it's quite nice. Kategorie CDR aus wie Slush Eis, wo du Sirup drüber kippst. Wenn das hier aussieht wie yeah. If you didn't understand, it, um, if you don't understand German, my friend just said like kakigori, the German, um, the <laughs> German. I'm so confused sometimes. The Japanese version of shaved ice, they put syrup on it and it's more like a slush ice. And here, it's like snow, yeah. snow with flavor. <laughs> Yeah, they have a lot of flavors like the fruits and the matcha, a lot of different things. This 
this would be really nice during summer. We finished our bingsu. I'm so happy we shared a one because it's. I think it's too much for one person if um, every person gets a one. So I think it's good to share. And they they gave us two spoons without us asking for two spoons. So it's common here, right, it seems. Um, She's taking strange photos of me. <laughs> so, as you've probably noticed, I don't really take uh, footage at the stores, like inside the stores, because it's really awkward since they are following you around and they stand right next to you or behind you so I don't want to stand there and like you know take footage and uh, not really looking at their products so it's really difficult for me to uh, get some footage here of the uh, products because I think it's really interesting but as I mentioned already, it's so awkward, for me at least, if they stand right behind me or next to me and uh, like following me around inside the store. I mean, I bought things, but still, yeah, it's difficult. I hope you uh, understand that. We are on our way home now. <laughs> so after spending a lot of money again, at least I spent a lot more money than her. I spent around 15 bucks. I don't know how. I don't want to know how much I spent. Um, but yeah, we're just going home now so that we won't spend too much money anymore today because tomorrow and the day after tomorrow uh, it's yeah it continues maybe we're going somewhere else we don't know yet maybe we can find the cathedral yeah we still didn't find the cathedral yeah i can't see it anymore no. and we are up now i don't know yeah but um we think it's around somewhere around here but we kind of lost sight of it yeah. don't really know where it is exactly it's really confusing because the streets all look the same in Yongdong because you have like the same store multiple times and there are also multiple H&M and you always think that you're at the same street but you aren't yep. um, so we're just going home now I've, I've been neglecting everything else like studying and editing videos so I'm quite behind that. I I think I skipped at least two days of not like I didn't upload any videos. Uh, so yeah, still have to do that somehow. If I haven't even started yet in the new video. I have a lot of footage, but no time to edit, as you can see. You can start. Yeah. In half an hour. <laughs> yeah. And you're showering. I'm, I'm making beauty night. Yeah, with your face mask. With your new products. Yes. You can watch me. <laughs> okay. <laughs> um, yeah, we just have to find uh, our Airbnb. <laughs> <laughs> again. Yeah, again. Yeah, as always, I'm not going to show you everything. Just a, uh, just a glimpse because. I'm probably going to do a Korea haul video. I found it. Oh, there's the cathedral. I don't get it. Up there. Maybe it's up a hill. We were up on a hill. Where is it? <laughs> <laughs> we're going to try again tomorrow, maybe. What the fuck? Yeah, so, okay. It's around 
it's somewhere around there, but we never find it. Yeah, what maybe the? we should try it here. Yeah. As you can see, we're back home at uh, our tiny, tiny room with this dangerous bed, which is really high. And uh, my friend is uh, trying for a fancy photo with uh, the new makeup and samples so we got <coughs> today. Sorry. Um, yeah. yeah. By the way, we accidentally bought Kuretama. <laughs> yeah. It's, um, what was it? The scrub? Yeah. For your skin? Yep. And it's Kuretama. <laughs> By the way, I'm not a K-pop fan or anything. <laughs> this is for a friend. G Dragon. G Dragon. Yeah, be <clears throat> we bought uh, quite a lot of stuff. At least I bought a lot. And uh, yeah, as uh, I told you, I can't film because it's really awkward with them behind you. But just that you know, they have a lot of makeup shops in Yongdong, and like for example, there's a skin food and. Uh, the next tree there's another skin food, like it's a it's a Korean makeup brand if you don't know it. And Misha. And like every existing Korean makeup brand is in Myeongdong with several stores. And they always try to lure you in with samples. Like you have to be careful because we uh, um, read some blog posts about uh, like getting free samples in Korea. It's a, like a st strategy of them. Some give you like this uh, shopping basket with a sample in it, and sometimes you can, like, you can just look around their shop. Some people just take the sample and leave, and that's possible. But sometimes it happens that the uh, shop assistants tell you that you have to buy something to keep the sample. And or it also happened, like I read in the blog, that they try to uh, um, take it away from you again. So you get more samples than you would in Germany, because in Germany you you don't really get samples at all, as long as you don't like spend over a hundred euro on things. Because I did it one time or several times with uh, the brand Clinique if you know that brand. It's a very expensive brand but because my skin is so sensitive and I, I can't use like L'Oreal like the basic mainstream brands, I bought those and I got so poor every time. So that's why I switched over to Korean makeup because it's a lot cheaper than the Clinique one. It, it works uh, well for my skin. I showed you um, the Misha Snail Cream line once and it works well for me because I had uh, a lot of dry skin here before and after using that I don't have that problem in anymore so that's why I continue using it. I'm repeating myself but I'm not going to show you anything yet maybe a glimpse as you saw we sometimes we buy the same things like I also got the Gudetama scrub, body scrub or face scrub and uh, highlighter what I wanted to get was a hand cream so I just bought this uh, pack of hand cream with a peach, apple and uh, what's this hand cream panda stream white hand cream something like that yeah there's a lot a lot of stuff that you can buy here concerning makeup and uh, skin care that's amazing like Korea mm, Korean skin care and they think of everything like for every part of your body and your face they have something to use or like I don't I don't even know we go through the stores <coughs> and don't even know what those things are so that's very interesting. Yeah. In the Daiso we got some snacks because we're home quite early. It's only uh, 
like almost nine we got home much later yesterday so we're happy that we have some snacks she bought this as a souvenir it's all the, like this typical choco pie green choco pie and uh, honey butter chip oh yeah from maybe you know from the uh, app music messenger. messenger music messenger yeah honey butter chips um, it seems that uh, this flavor is really popular in Korea. <coughs> I think they also have like nuts with that flavor, but I haven't seen it yet. Well, I haven't looked for it, so uh, they also have, if you like K-pop and you like Korean makeup, I think this is heaven. Because every corner, in every corner, they play like um, K-pop songs. I know at least 80 or 90 percent of the songs they are playing at the stores it's uh it's it's quite fun so we're just uh going to rest up now we don't know where we're going tomorrow yet maybe we're going to somewhere else check another place out and i still have to edit some videos because i'm so behind um with editing videos i haven't uploaded last week and on Sunday so eh, I have to get to work so I still hope that you kinda enjoyed the us eating things here I'm really sorry that I can't film that much in the stores it's really difficult and I hope that you'll stay with me until I don't know when tomorrow the day after tomorrow I hope you enjoyed this video and I Thank you for watching. If you've watched until now, then thank you very much that you endured it and we'll see you tomorrow. Bye! Bye! I'm just outside the window and I heard mewing. the cat there was a cat and there still is somewhere but if it needs help what if it needs help <laughs> no <laughs> see <laughs> it doesn't need help that wasn't the cat. <laughs> no. She returned onto food soon. <laughs> okay. She's away. No. She's still there. No. Close the window, it's cold. But the cat. But it's cold. But the cat. Then go outside and search for her. Okay. Uh -huh.